Hey there, Allie Duzette here, and today is day 14 of the Venus Retrograde in 2022. Um, I'm Allie, good to meet you, and Happy New Year, my favorite holiday. Let's go ahead and tap. Tap on your forehead or collarbone, there's no wrong way to do it, so just tap anywhere and say out loud with me, I am choosing to start the year off with hope. I am starting off the year with hope. I give myself permission to, uh, blah, let's start over. I give myself permission to experience a beautiful new year. I allow myself to see the good in my life right now. I allow myself to be supported through 2022. Let's go ahead and put our hand on our heart and breathe it in. We are choosing to start off the year with hope and giving ourselves permission to experience a wonderful year in 2022. Oh, and you can hear my baby talking in the background. Um, you are the limiting factor. And I wanted to talk about this really quick as we start off the new year. Um, our divine creator delights to bless us and make our lives amazing. The limiting factor here is our ability to receive blessings. So what is holding us back from receiving the blessings that our divine creator is actively trying to shower upon us? Okay, so pause. I really believe that the divine Every day is waking up and saying, oh man, how can I shower you with blessings? How can I do it? And, and there's just all these blessings hanging out there in the big universe for us, waiting for us to claim them. And so what is holding us back from claiming them? Uh, I narrowed it down to three things, probably. Um, first one is living out of alignment with universal law and natural law. And I've done some videos on this before, but basically I personally feel really strongly that universal law transcends all religion it transcends everything that we experience here on the earth and all religions basically exist to bring us closer to alignment with the universal law so for example um one common tenet in many religions is not to steal you know thou shalt not steal right um but why why is that such a universally you know acknowledged thing that you should not do well because it's out of alignment with universal law and there's a law of the universe that is bigger than than commandments and then little rules and everything the big law of the universe is that people people how do we put it choices and consequences you know they can be divorced for a short time but they can't be divorced for a long time and stealing disrupts the cycle of choice and consequence, okay? When you make a choice and you earn something, that earning it is the consequence, right? Whatever you do, you get the natural fruits of what you have done um, according to natural law. And we use our agency to disrupt that cycle sometimes. And that is exactly what things like commandments um, and different rules and different religions and, and many societies have built their laws around these universal law concepts where, um, you know what, yeah, you can steal something that somebody else has earned, but it is still breaking a fundamental law of the universe. And when we do that, we are disrupting that natural cycle. We get our own spirits and souls and bodies in trouble with the universe itself. And that is why we have these rules that say, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. And to me, when I look at things like the Ten Commandments or, um, you know, these other rules that um, societies and religions have built themselves on for a bajillion years, to me, what I'm seeing is, is this invitation to become in alignment with the universal law that transcends all of that. It's not about religion. It's about how does how is the fabric of reality stitched together? The fabric of reality stitches together choices and consequences, okay? Choices and accountability, okay? We, and so anyways, here's the point. When we live out of alignment with universal law, we limit the goodness that can flow to us naturally, okay? When we do things like steal, when we lie, when we break promises that we've made, um, things of this nature, when we have done those things, we are living out of alignment with, with the natural laws of all of reality. And when we do that, how can re all of reality repay us with good? You know, it, I don't feel like it 
always super can you know we have to uh, change our own hearts and bring ourselves into alignment so that we can experience the positive things that that reality has waiting for us i hope that made sense so when we live out of alignment when we have um you know done things that bring our own spirits out of alignment with with the laws that govern reality in a religious term you could say when we break broken commandments that kind of thing um when we live out of alignment then that limits what we can receive um not feeling good enough is something i listed as well rejecting blessings on purpose when we feel like we don't deserve to be blessed and to experience the good things well that's pretty self-limiting and then it's our own fault that we're not receiving the good things and the thing is that when that happens it's because we chose it we chose not to receive the better part right and so a question for you to be thinking about as we kick off this new year is where do you not feel like you deserve to experience the good things where where do you feel like you're in a self-punishment cycle because how are you going to experience a great year if you are still in a self-punishment cycle and um one thing that comes up a lot in my work is feelings of that we need to self-punish so that other people or like our divine creator won't punish us additionally so so this concept is like if I punish myself, like if I keep myself from having good things, then no one else can do it for me. You know, if I make myself feel horrible, then God can't make me feel even more horrible. It's kind of like a way of self-protecting, but it's, oh, uh -oh come here, baby. But the thing is that it's like pretty unnecessary and really unhelpful. Like our, our bodies and spirits don't need that. You know, if, and what I find a lot of times is that we self punish more than anybody else would punish us for us. Does that make sense? So we start rejecting. Hey, cool it. We reject the good things. Um, and we don't even need to, you know, it's a form of self protection that's completely unnecessary. So sitting down and asking yourself, where are you self punishing in a completely unnecessary way? That will be a good question to ask. And then the third thing that I thought of was not asking. There are, in my opinion, a lot of blessings and beautiful things out in this world that would be ours if we just asked for them and we just didn't think about asking. So um, you can even ask what to ask for. And this is a great question to just throw out into this amazing universe that we live in. Just saying out loud, what should I be asking for? What good things should I ask for today? asking yourself that question your brain is going to start generating an answer for you so um so now is a great time to what get yourself into alignment make things right where you have messed up so that you can live in alignment with universal law again part of doing that is going to be um uh what's the word uh, is it retribution making uh or restitution what 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 i mean by that is like if you have stolen before you know you got to go give the thing back or make it right somehow. If you have lied, go and make the situation right. Um, ask our creator for help healing your heart and preparing to live in alignment with more and more blessings. You know, ask what you should ask for and start asking for the things that you should ask for. Remember that our divine creator delights to bless you and that there are blessings already out there that are waiting for you. I 100% believe that there are already blessings that have been set in motion for you to experience this year if you are prepared for them, if you live in alignment with them, if you ask for them. So that is my big message today. Um, be asking these questions and really think about how are you going to get yourself into greater alignment so that you can experience all the good that this world has to offer you. And uh, that's it for today. Thanks for being here, guys. I'm really proud of you. Look at all of this incredible work we're doing. We're getting the job done. So good job. And I will talk to you later.